So I was going on vacation to the ba not the Bahamas, the three islands, uh, what was it, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao with my mother, my aunt, uncle, and my sister. And, you know, I, 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 was, I wanted to bring my iPad with me so that I could take some pictures, or so I could play some videos of just some movies if I want to relax a little bit, watch something on my iPad, and some training videos, right? I don't want to lug around my big laptop and have to deal with all of that. It's the iPad, man. This thing is nice. It's small. It's thin. It's neat. You can flip it around like a pizza. I mean, this thing is great. You just, you know, then put on the earbuds and you play the sound through that. And, and then you put it in your lap, you watch it bed at night. And also, if I got to fly somewhere, like I got to take a trip up to New York or something, um, I'd like to pull this out in the airport too. You know, there's not much space there. The, the laptops are very big, you know, and you got the guy next to you and all that. It's just a big mess. So I wanted to, to download some, some movies and some videos, some videos. And some training videos to my iPad so that I could study some training videos, you know. So the problem is, though, I went on the Internet and I looked up all these different ways to download everything to it. I mean, streaming, if I got Wi-Fi, great. But, you know, on, on, the, on these cruises, you got to pay out the, a lot of money for, for, for Wi-Fi access. And then it doesn't work well. And, I mean, why am I going to do that if I don't have to besides, right? And same on the plane. So I was looking for ways to upload videos to my iPad. And you know what? It wasn't so easy, even for an IT guy. There's a lot of little tricks to putting thumb drives in there. The way you got to modify the files, the name of the files on, on the stick, and um, or go through iTunes, which is a big mess. But I found a really good way through something called C-File, which we have, that's multi-purpose, too. It's used for backups and more. And all I got to do is just... Click the app, and then with the Wi-Fi on there, I, I go to the movie that I put on my computer, and I just click the button, and it downloads to the iPad. So when I'm on a ship, a cruise, or I'm on an airplane, all I got to do is go to that movie, push play, and it's already locally on the iPad, and it just plays. I don't have to worry about Wi-Fi or extra dollars I got to pay for the service, and it uh, it works great, and it's very simple to use. So I had a hard time figuring out something to do. Um, a way to do this, and I'm sure that if you're looking at this video, that you probably had a similar issue. And here's a solution. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so here is an image of my desktop on my home computer, and in this window right here that I'm moving around, this is C file. This is the app that replicates data on my computer to the cloud, and from the cloud, I can get the data to transfer to my iPad and to other devices for other purposes. And um, in fact, speaking of other purposes, if you look at these different files, you can see I've got a documents folder here. I've got a comp ITS folder, name of our company, software folder. Um, I'm not going to go into these to show the internal structures, but if I click on any one of these, it'll show all the files within it. So these, this does work as a backup program. And from it, I can also restore anything that is deleted on my computer right down to the minute that it was saved on my computer because this simply um, saves everything to the cloud live after a file is created and saved. So I will show the internal folder of DCIM because this is where I'm keeping my videos, the videos that for, were for training purposes that I like to look at to study while I'm away from home and uh, some movies that I downloaded for a little bit of recreation. So when I'm resting in bed or in a sofa uh, on the cruise, um, I can simply pull up my I iPad and play a video if I want. So double clicking this brings me into the folder. Oh, it's appearing on a different screen. I'll drag it over. So on here, you can see it's showing you the path. I've got it saved in a folder, which could be any location I want, but I chose this on a separate partition. I just saved the files, the videos, into this location. That's all I had to do. The green check mark simply means that after it was saved here, it automatically replicated up to the cloud where it is available on my iPad to access and other devices. So that's really the key points about the C file account that I am using to get my videos to appear on my iPad. Very, very simple. It takes like five minutes to install this on the computer. And uh, it functions very easily, and we're always available here at uh, Computer IT Solutions to provide support if anyone needs it to know how to use this. But it really only takes a few minutes. These functions that uh, would be used regularly are pretty simple to use. But that's about it. Um, the files are in here. Again, double-clicking that. 
There's um, the different videos that I have. There's a, there's a training video, another training video. And uh, I don't know where the movies are. Um, this is a movie here, I believe. Um, anyway, it's a mix in there. And um, that's about it. And uh, next, I'll show you the iPad on which the, um, the videos were transferred to. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the C file account on my iPad where I have downloaded already some videos that are from movies and also some training videos. So anyway, the C file account is here. That's C file account. And um, once it's added on the iPad, you'll see the libraries in the left column. In here, DCIM is the folder where I've got all the videos downloaded um, onto my iPad. Now, if you look at the little red dot that is uh, a red check mark, or a red circle with a white check mark in it next to the videos, um, that simply means that those were downloaded, um, played and downloaded right locally on my iPad. Now, if it doesn't have a red dot on it, like some of these videos down here, it simply means that it is available to play on here, but it hasn't been downloaded to it. So, for example, if I click this one here, this first video 12, that it's highlighted in gray, and I click that there, you see that it's downloading now to my iPad. And when that's finished, it'll start to play, and you have a red dot next to it. And when it has that red dot, it simply means that I can take it with me to my cruise or on an airplane and I don't need Wi-Fi access. I can just simply play the video without it because that video is downloaded locally to my iPad. We'll wait for this to finish. It's almost done. And here comes the play window. I'll in this course, it. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to get started programming in. And you know, with the app, you can scroll ahead through the video, whatever you wanna do and play different areas of it. And uh, what I'm gonna do though now is just go out of it by clicking done in the upper left-hand corner. And now if you go back to libraries, you'll see that right here, well, I clicked on it again and run again, I'll go back, back to the library. And if you look at it, video 12 hyphen 10, and the date there, you'll see that um, it's got a red dot on it now, which simply means that it's local on the computer. So if I wanted to download the other videos to my laptop as well, all I gotta do is click on them once, these other ones down here that don't have any red dots next to them, just click on them, they'll download to the iPad, and then later on, I could go on a plane, I could go to a cruise, and I don't have to, I don't have to rely on Wi-Fi for those videos to play. I'll go out of libraries, and um, let's see, what else can I show you here? And, um, oh, so if you also look at the libraries here, you can see that I've also put, um, I, I have access to all my software folders that I have put on here. I can go back, um, company files, I'm not gonna go through all of them and show you guys, but it's all there. And if I wanna have access to those files too, I could simply click on them, download them, and I have those. But for this trip that I had, um, I downloaded the videos. That's what I wanted to to have, and it works very well. Much more easily, much more easy, much easier to use with C file than these other apps and methods that I come across in YouTube videos and other searches I did in Google. So that's all I got for now. If you need any more information about C file, what can do for what it can do for you and about how you can, it can be used for adding videos to your iPad, just give me a shout, and um, I'll post my contact information for you so you can reach me.